Hey ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to code YouTube channel subscription feature using Observable. Here, I'm gonna show you an example. Here, I created the channel. Here, I created two users. Here, I subscribe those users to this Kiran One channel and I publish the video. Here, you can see user one and user two received the video. Here, I unsubscribed the user two. Now, here, only user one receive the video. Let's see start coding. Here I'm gonna create two interfaces. One called subscriber. The other one is called publisher. Subscriber has receive video function. SRC thing return. Publisher have subscribe function, unsubscribe function, and publish video function. First, subscribe, subscribe returns nothing. Unsubscribe again, a subscriber return nothing. Here, yeah, publish video. Return. So here both SRC type should be same. Therefore, I'm gonna create a new type called data equal to thing. Here I'm gonna to as data. Now we can make sure that we pass the same type of data. I'm gonna create a class called YouTube channel. It implements publisher. You can highlight this class name and press command dot. In Windows, I think it's control dot. So type it and here select implement interface. Here I'm going to create the subscribers array. Array of subscribers. Make sure to initialize a default array, otherwise, you might get errors. When I subscribe, I'm gonna push the new subscriber to this array. Dot drivers dot push subscriber. When user unsubscribe, I'm gonna remove that subscriber from this array. Here, this dot driver dot filter. And parent not equal subscribe. Make sure you assign the new value to exist because this filter function doesn't modify the original array, it just creates a new array with new values. So we have to assign it to the existing array here. When I want to publish a video, I'm going to use O of array here. This parent and this is when we want to publish the video, we gonna call subscribers receive video function and pass the SRC to it. The SRC should be data. Take on my end now. That's it. That's it in the channel part. Now let's create the user class user implement subscriber. Again, let's go to the class name and press command dot press enter. It should be data to identify the user separately. I'm going to add the variable called name, and when we create an instance from this class we have to assign it to do that we're going to create a constructor here private name here so log 
here I'm gonna add this dot name and then this now I'm gonna export this okay yeah now our example is running just like the way before make sure to subscribe to my channel otherwise you will miss all this stuff in the next